All right, folks, so today I'm showing you my new pickup. Here's the 2006 uh, Acura TSX. So you just saw what this car looks like. The, uh, that's the issue with living next to the airport. There's always planes flying around, so hopefully you were able to hear what I was saying. This is a 2006 Acura TL. Just kidding, this is the TSX. We flip the camera all right so this particular model here is the k24 equipped with uh, 200 horsepower and as always i would only pick these up if they were let's take a look here i think you already know what the secret sauce is this is a six speed manual um it's not showing the mileage here i need my keys in there but it's in fairly good condition the leather is not really ripped let's check out the back seats i mean this is a 18 year old car right 2006 plus um it's a good amount of time it's almost 20 years old um the great thing about this car, this is also the navigation option. Um, well, I mean, the first owner car and the owner uh, opted for the navigation. This comes with the black interior, another plus. I mean, the car does need a little detail. Detailing all the way around, front and back, to get the full effect uh, body-wise. It is pretty straight. It does have some blemishes here, here, a little bit here. It's just from daily use. The gentleman was probably in his early 40s. He got it fresh out of college. He's had it since, so he's upkept all the maintenance and stuff like that. There's another little uh, boo-boo here, all the way to this part. I think this you could buff out. Um, this door is definitely straight as well, very straight. There's not much dents, just some paint chips from probably opening and closing the doors. A small little dent here. And the hood, it is very hard to tell, but they do have that two, mid 2000 paint job from the Honda. Uh, it's usually faded up top if you live anywhere that's sunny. Uh, the great thing is there's no leaks through any of these sunroofs or the seals. They're all in great shape. Um, so I pretty much have to do a full detail on this and see if I could revive this paint here on top. Let me know if you have experience with these TSX. I'm going to pause this for a second. There's an airplane passing by. back to the car here so I'm gonna try to see if I can revive the paint here on top here as well worst case I leave it as this uh, maybe put a wrap on there I'm not sure if they actually make a wrap in this color if they do that would be excellent just to match that if not gloss black will fix it pretty nice nicely uh, this car does come with pretty new continentals all the way around 215 50 17 these are the, I would say, the ugly version of this wheel off the TSX. Uh, I do have the other version of the TSX wheels that I might swap into this um, after I get them refinished. As you already know, if you watch my channel, I do kind of uh, DIY wheel refinishing or just reconditioning wheels. So uh, another thing I need to fix on this would be this tint here, the film it's kind of bubbling off so I'm not sure if this is fixable I should just pull the whole thing off maybe I gotta hit it with the heat gun and some water and just take this bubble uh, section out uh, interior wise the back it's in pretty good shape I mean it is aged I think they did get use out of this interior this guy had two 
two daughters that were like six to eight years old now so i am imagine they've used this car um throughout their childhood and it seems like these seats here do have dents from uh having a uh, child seat in here but overall it's pretty good shape i mean look at the front seats they're not ripped usually they're ripped on the front part of it this one here is a little rip in the middle section so i'll have to see what the remedy is to get it looking better uh you got the headrest here these are in good shape usually those don't really get damaged unless they're really mistreated and just getting beat on probably have to clean these stains off um, let's take a look at the trunk and then we'll look at the engine bay all right all right the trunk is a little dirty but all the tools are in signs of rust or accidents uh, so this is a California car it was originally bought I think in uh, somewhere in the Bay Area or Santa Barbara um, so no accidents at all these are the towing area never knew but these TSX came with a pretty cool exhaust tip and they're dual that looks pretty nice um, so currently these are the same brakes I have on my Honda Element, which is the slightly bigger brake than uh, the Civics and some of the Honda Accords. Let's take a look here. Should pop the hood. So this is another thing I have to fix, which is just a really bad condition headlight, which is probably original. It's got the original Honda emblem here. I know this one looks pretty brand new. And he did tell me he had to replace this. So this is a after marketing one from TYC. I mean, it looks great, but it's not OEM. I'm not sure if it's a big deal. I'm sure the purists would disagree. Uh, you also got this factory fog light, which looks pretty cool and they're still functional. I'm gonna turn that on as well to show. Uh, let me show you the mileage. So yeah, it does need a little detailing. And it's rainy today, so it looks even worse than it's supposed to. Alright, turn off the music here. Alright. And the uh, air. Alright, hood's popped. Gotta close the trunk, give me a minute here. All right, back to the instrument panel here. So it shows that it's got 125,000 miles. Rest nice and quiet, no ticking. All right, gotta show you the engine bay. It's also something that I like to do. It's to clean out the engine bay, make sure it's tip top condition. Alright, here's that. The engine sounds excellent. Uh, I think there's been an oil change earlier this year in March. The guy hasn't really drove it since he's got a new car. I think he bought a uh, Rivian, the pickup truck. Let's take a look at this 220 horsepower motor. Or is it 200? Actually, it's like 205 or 207. This is a 2.4 liter K24. I believe it's an A5 or A6 or something. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not really familiar with these K series. I'm more familiar with the B series and the H. Um, so this thing, I think with bolt-ons and stuff, you can actually get up to 215 at the wheels. If you get a header, intake, uh, exhaust, and a tune um, 
which all of those are bolt on and you're able to get up to 215 at the wheels and a healthy one of these should get a 190 to 100 like a hundred high 180 maybe like 187 188 to the wheels which is not bad one thing I did notice it does come with a factory strut tower bar that is pretty cool just like the CL all right, let me uh, close this hood here. All right, so like I said, this car definitely needs a nice detail to get it looking at least 80, 85%. It's currently, with the rain and everything, it just looks nasty. The carpet's nasty. The exterior is a little dirty and uh, faded on the paint. So hopefully I'm able to shine this up a bit. Uh, it's unfortunately, it's unfortunate that these paint aren't really aren't really high quality from uh, Acura so then they're usually faded if you don't garage the car and even though my elements 2008 there's already some uh, peeling and definitely this TSX it's just been out in the Sun I don't think it was garage I mean it's possible that you don't garage it and you just drive it daily and your paint will get faded the clear coat fading so is there any fix that any of the any of you know please uh, <laughs> Feel free to comment uh, your suggestions or maybe the best thing to do is just get it repainted but that is definitely going to cost some money there. Uh, let me show you again what it looks like. So this area is definitely faded. All this here. It's better here but all the way around. So that's the bad part about this car. So my plans for this, originally I was looking for a Acura TL Type S, TSX with a six speed, one either one of those. So I ended up with a CL um, Type S with a six speed. And now I'm in, in a dilemma. I have to get rid of both of them or just one of them. Here goes the airplane again. I like this because it's got the four-door, but I'm really used to driving that J32 now. It's got a lot of torque, mid-range power. Uh, it's really stable too. Not to say that this uh, TSX doesn't have the same capability, but it feels a lot slower. And overall, it just doesn't feel as solid as the CL. So that's why I'm also looking for the TL Type S with the six speed um, I don't want to stick with the auto transmission I know they have issues with those and I'd rather stick with the six speed and they, they they're worth more as well that's what all the enthusiasts look for so currently this will be a small project that I'm looking to tackle since the CL is mostly done I just need to do a axle on that one all right so I'm I'm just getting annoyed that I'm keep getting cut cut off by the sound of the airplane but uh so yeah this car here main thing the pluses are um the low mileage 125 for a 2006 and it is a six speed let's check out the throw here my buddy did tell me I should get a uh upgraded short shifting uh, a couple company out there make a really nice short shifting uh, kit for this. Um, there's a hybrid racing, acuity, just basically any K series uh, uh, setup. You could just swap into these and you would get a much better shifting experience. This one's not bad at all. I think I do like or prefer the CL better than this. Uh, another thing on this model here, this is an option with uh, navigation which is a plus uh, you already know there's got a sunroof here it's nothing special but I think uh, these are off factory option that's included um, the leather wrap steering wheel is a bit aged here so I'll have to see what I could do to make it better this is also faded just from daily use 
But like I said, this car is pretty solid. Everything's working. There's nothing that doesn't work in here. I think the Bluetooth's the only thing. It was messing up with the battery. But overall, this is a good car. So I might just end up keeping this. Prefer this over the CL. I just maybe have to uh, clean it up and consider it and see if anybody is also interested in the low mileage TSX. And if they make a good offer, I would possibly let it go and just keep the CL. But like I said, the four door is helpful getting in the back seats. And the two door is super annoying. You got to move the seat forward. Um, anyways. Um, thanks for watching. This is my TS6. Uh, it's not a Type S or anything. This is just a six-speed model that I just picked up. So I'm not sure what the plans are for this. So stay tuned. If you haven't even uh, seen my other videos, go check those out and maybe uh, give it a follow. Subscribe to the channel and comment your experience with these cars. And also, I was able to. Well, this, this is a little bit of driving from the street now, but I was able to get 33 miles per gallon on this car, so that's pretty cool. Um, anyways, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, this is a short video. I'll keep another update. I also need to do an update on my uh, CL and uh, the Element as well. All right, thanks for watching.